Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We have already covered what generics are and how to create a generic class that support various types in our previous video. We have also seen how generics were able to help in solving the type safety issues. In case you have missed that, please go ahead and check out my previous video. In this video, we will see few more cool and advanced things that we can do using generics. If you are new to the channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon. So without any further delay, let's start. We have seen how generics were able to solve the type safety issues. That is, if we create a list that can contain only suppose employee objects and if we try to add another object, say product object in that, it will not even compile. It will start giving us compilation error. Also while fetching the details, we are sure that it will return the object of employee. So there is no need of extra type casting. In addition to that, there are a few cool advanced things that we can do using generics. Let's go back to our generic class which we were using in our previous session to store and print any type of data. Suppose instead of making it store and print any type, we want this to be more specialized printer class. For example, we have a class vehicle. We want to print only the types vehicle. For that, I have already created uh, these three classes. First one is the vehicle class. And in addition to that, I have two more classes, car and bike. Car extends vehicle and it is having its one member number of tires. I have also implemented two string in that and get a setter methods. Similarly for bike as well, uh, we have updated the number of tires and get a setter methods. Now in the generic class, how can we can make it more specialized? So instead of T, we can mention T extends vehicle. So now here you can see it has already started giving me an error. We'll tell you why. So now this class will be able to store and print anything that extends vehicle. It can be car or bike as well. So if I go to my main class here itself, you can see we have started getting error here where we have used integer. And the error is type parameter integer is not within its bound. It should extend vehicle. That's what we have mentioned in our generic class that whatever uh, value that we are passing that should extend vehicle. So these things will not work. So if I pass in a car object here and instead of one, two, three, I pass a new car with four number of uh, tires. Here you can see the error is gone. Similarly, I can pass bike here and here I can pass new bike object with four number of tires, uh, two number of tires. Okay. Now you can see the error is gone. So if I try to run this class, let's see the output as well. <clears throat> so here you can see it is able to store car as well as bike and also able to print the same. As we have mentioned that T extends vehicle. So all the methods which are available in vehicle are available in this class as well. So using this val variable, we'll be able to access the start method as well. So here, uh, when we are trying to print, it will also call the start method of vehicle and print the starting as well. Let's execute to see the output. So here you can see starting is also getting called from this generic class. But if we remove this extends keyword and then we will not be able to access the start method because as it will not guarantee that start method will be available in all the types which are being passed here. This type of generics are also known as bounded generics. Because we are giving a certain bound or limit of type that we will be able to pass. You can also use the interfaces as well. But one thing to be noticed here that generic class we have to mention T extends interface. You might be thinking that it's an interface. So we should be using implements instead of extends. So let's try to do that. Let's use implements and mention an interface. So uh, one of the basic one is clonable interface. So it will start giving us an error because this is not the syntax inside the generic class. So even though it is uh, an interface, we need to mention extends. So here you can see it will work fine. We can mention a class as well along with this. So here you can see T extends vehicle and using ampersand, we can uh, mention any number of interfaces that we want to extend. So this means that Whatever type we are passing, it should extend vehicle class and it should implement clonable as well. So as you can see, we have already started seeing the problems here. Now let's see what are the problems. 
If you click here, it will tell you what are the related problems. So here in the main class, it is mentioned that is not within the bounds because it should implement clonable as well. So let's go to our car, car class and try, try to implement clonable. So as soon as I do that, sorry, clonable. So as soon as I do that, you can see the error from car is gone. Now the error is only available in bike. It is the same error. So if we do the same in bike class, the error will be gone in from the bike instance as well. Okay, now you can see everything is working fine. We can list as many things as we want with the separated by ampersand. With one syntax to be considered that you can only have one class and as many interfaces as you want. Because we know it can only extend a single class in Java. In addition to the generic classes, we can also have generic methods as well. Now let's create a method that takes t as an input and print suppose exclamation after its value. Now it will say that uh, it is unable to identify what is t. So just before the return type, we need to mention the type parameters. Okay. Now inside this, what I want to do is print whatever input it is given to and add a couple of exclamations after that. Let's try to call this specific method here. So what I will do, print main and this I will pass one name. Now I'm expecting name and couple of exclamation after that should be printed on the console. Now let's see. So here you can see I have passed a string and it has added couple of exclamations after that. Now let's try to test it for uh, integer as well. So print main I'm passing one to three. So here you can see there is no error and when I execute it, it has printed number and exclamation mark. So in addition to that, we can pass uh, the custom objects as well. Suppose I'm passing new car, four number of tires. Okay. And if I execute it again. So here you can see after this, this is actually the two string method that we have. It has appended a couple of exclamation, which we have configured inside this uh, generic method. So in addition to classes, we can also create methods that can take generic inputs of any type. Java also supports the ability to have multiple different generic types. So in, addi in addition to T, we can have two inputs here as well. Suppose we have V as another input. So what do we need to do in this angle brackets? In addition to T, we need to add comma and V. So we'll be able to access two different uh, generic types here as well. So let's try to print that as well. So this is another input. Okay. So instead of uh, exclamation mark, I want to add at the rate after the second input. So here you can see it has started giving us an error because it is expecting two parameters, but I'm passing only one. So now in the first one, I'm passing string and a number. And in the second one, I'm passing string uh, number and uh, a string you can say name John okay and in the third one let's try to pass two different custom objects so I'm trying to pass a bike here so let's execute and see the output the first input should have exclamation added and the second one should have at the rate added in addition to multiple input generic types we can also return a generic type we just need to replace this void with t here and in the function itself we need to return that specific t type Another advanced generic topic is wildcards. Suppose we want to create a method that can take a list that can hold any type of objects and we want to print those objects. So this is the function where we are passing a list of objects and we are printing that list itself. Now let me just comment out the other code to have a better output in the console. So now in our main class, let's try to create a new list of integers. Now by passing this list, let me try to print this specific list. So I'll do print list, I'll pass list. So here you can see it is giving me a compilation error because the required type is list of objects, but I'm providing list of integers. You might be wondering that uh, integer is already a subclass of objects, then why it, it is giving this error? One thing to be noted here that integer is a subclass of objects, but 
list of integer is not a subclass of list of objects in such scenarios wildcard will be able to help us so instead of saying list of objects we can say list of unknown bypassing question mark here in this so here you can see the error is gone now if i try to print i will be able to see output as well this question mark is the wildcard so you can use this when we don't know what the type is going to be we can pass the custom class list as well and we will see it will work there as well so instead of passing integer list let me create a car list of cars as well so i will add new car so here let me execute it so we'll be able to print a custom object as well Okay. We can also have bounded wildcard similar to how we used previously in the class. We can say it can be a list of anything that extends vehicle. So it will be question mark again extends vehicle. So now it will actually work fine because we are passing car and car is already extending vehicle. So instead of car, if we try to again pass integers, and here let me pass one integer. So here you can see we are again able to get the error which will be related to the bound. So hover to that in your IDE. So here you can see the required type is anything that extends vehicle but we are passing integer here. That's it for the generics in Java where we have covered all the basic concepts and few advanced concepts including wildcards and bounded generics as well. If you like this video or learned something new, please let me know by leaving a like or comment. Also, be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss any new Java tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I really appreciate for being here with me. Keep learning and I'll see you next time.